One thing about God is there's a verse that talks about how many are the plans in a man's heart. But it's the Lord's purpose that prevails. God directs the steps of the righteous, right? Sometimes we find ourselves. Sometimes we're, we may think we're running. Walking. And sometimes we are running from God. Just be straight up. Uh, we're running from certain things. Um, but then the next day we find ourselves right back. You know. The thing about God is he, he led mm, Jesus. He led, I want to say John. Um, the Baptist, you know, he the, the Spirit of God led them into the wilderness, right? And some of us are in a wilderness season, um, isolation season, um, preparation season, Jesus. And we find ourselves being detoured, you know. Sometimes we think we're lost. Ooh, thank you, Holy Spirit. I remember I always see this and it, and it clicks. It's like... Um, not all those who wander, wander, are lost. So God will take us through detours. He will lead us through the wilderness. He will place us in isolation, call us to do certain things, choose us to be in certain spaces and places, and excuse me, prepare us for certain doors. It's, it's, it's ultimately to prepare us for certain doors that we have to walk through, right? Um. I feel led to to speak to somebody that um, find themselves, you know, pushing to come higher, right? And it is true, come higher, go higher, go higher. But don't get lost in success don't get lost in trying to be perfect and righteous because we're not saved by these things you know we're saved by grace which is a gift that's been a word of today is vanity um and i'm not gonna sit here like i don't have work to do but again we're not saved by our works we're saved by grace right god's grace god it's a gift and I know I'm talking to somebody besides myself. Um, you're being led and detoured and pushed and you find yourself in certain cycles. You've conquered these things, right? But that flesh, oh, that flesh is, it wants what it wants. That heart wants what it wants. Um, and you fight it, you fight it and that's been me. Like I'm, a, I'm always fight my flesh. I'm. That's what I've been saying to myself, and I don't always do a very good job of fighting my flesh. Um, but I'm trying to install into my mind that I'm not saved by, you know, my works, you know, and that I want God's will to be done, and I want Him to really. Genuinely, authentically, and truly show out in my life like he does. Because I find myself forgetting the things that he does, where, you know, the things that he's shown me and told me. He talks to all of us. God is a spirit, right? Holy Spirit, you know, let there be none of me and all of you. Holy Spirit, do your thing. Prayer, fasting, complete supplication. Yes, yes, yes. Stillness, yes. But remember, no matter how hard you try to get it right, you'll get it right. And I prophesy that you will get it right. But I need you to remember, one, it's not all about you. And two, God is in control. Not giving you an excuse to sin. Not give you an excuse to go back, to backslide. 
but I am giving you an excuse to let go of the stronghold that you hold over yourself and let go and let God. You're not saved by being perfect. You're not saved by your wonderful works and trying to get all things done and trying to get the best job and the, and the best car because none of these things really matter. Jesus does love us. God does love us. He loved us before he created us. And this is a journey. It's a journey. It's a journey. It's a journey. Sometimes your environment will keep you bound. And God does call us to come up. The eagle, it, mm, the eagle, it flies into the storm and it puts its wings up. And it says, you know what? I'm going to use this storm to my advantage to take me higher. I'm going to eat this wind. I'm going to lift, you know, spread out my wings and float through this. Because if I don't, if I try to flap through this storm and try to fight this storm, this storm is going to tear me to pieces. These winds is going to tear me up. This rain, gonna, I'm going to drown in the air. This the eagle talking. So just the word is, again, not an excuse to do things and to backslide, you know. But remember who's in control. Are you in control of your life or is God? Are you driving or is God? Who's on the wheel? Do you know when to step back and let God, do you know when to let go? Let go. Um, and that's for me it's hard to let go it is hard to let go especially when you live a life of um, losing things losing people losing yourself but know that you watching this video right now that it was not all in vain God has purpose in the wilderness. God has purpose in isolation. God has purpose in everything. But it's God's purpose, not ours. We're the paintbrush. Ooh, this was, the, this was, I was walking. It was like, God is the handyman. We are the tool. God is the potter and we're the clay. And it's hard to accept that. And we get stubborn. Like me, I can be stubborn. I'm gonna be honest. I can be you know, I'm getting, and God, you know, God be getting on me. I will, I get on me. I'm hard on myself sometimes. And I feel like sometimes God is just like, son, chill. You're not defined by your mistakes. You're not defined by your sin. But you're going to run yourself into a wall that you may have put up or that God may have put up, Jericho. And the only way that wall is going to come down is when you surrender. All right, very good. Y'all stay blessed.